So this is all the parts I got for the build. All new stuff. No old tech. Decent entry video card. Cheap DVD writer. I spent a little more money for a nicer power supply. New solid state drive. It's 120 gigs. And hopefully this RAM will work out okay. The AMD quad core. 4.2 gigahertz. Gigabyte motherboard. I hope this is awesome. I didn't go all out on the case, but this is a fairly nice case. Has everything I need. Has a side vent. Actually has a clear panel. I didn't notice that before. At least one USB and three in front. Power reset, audio, fan. Power supply goes on the bottom. I'm pretty sure there'll be enough room for everything in here. Plenty of slots for me. I don't need any more than that. There's two small triangles. This corner right there and that triangle right there. There it is. CPU installed. This is the stock cooler that comes with it. I've heard it's a real fight to put this on, so we'll find out. So you snap that one on, and then you just push this one down on, and then you should flip the lever to tighten it all down. It is very snug. Hmm. And that's it. That was easy. After you get that on there, plug your CPU fan in. I only bought eight but gigabytes, so uh, two four gig sticks. There's one. And there's two. This is my fairly nice power supply. It's not modular. And I thought it was at first, and I guess I forgot when I ordered it, but it's still really nice. Plenty of cables, I mean, goodness. I can plug everything I want in. This is your power. This is 20, this is plus four, and this board is 24, so they go together like that. And I also heard that sometimes this is a pain in the butt. That was nice. These are the four and four pin CPU connector for this power supply. And they go right here. I'm gonna plug the speaker in here. This motherboard comes with a little speaker. And I'm gonna test it before I stick it in the case. That was easy. I'm gonna use the case button to turn it on. And there's a little arrow on here. Probably can't see it. But you follow your motherboard manual and you plug it in with the arrow on the plus. This motherboard won't turn on without the uh, graphics processing unit in it because it doesn't have one. So now that everything is plugged in, press the power button and it boots and it beeps. So my motherboard's not dead. And I'm gonna stick it in the case now. These are the motherboard standoffs put in the case according to its design. They go in these little holes, little thread holes. I'm gonna stuff the connector plate that hides everything down that hole. There it goes. Oh, good. This case has a bottom screen and the power supply goes in with the fan down here sucking up into it. Power supply is secured. The solid state drive has four screw holes on the bottom and it'll fit in here on the bottom. Just like that. Put your CD ROM in there. You have to break these out in the front. The front of the case has all the USB connectors and the audio stuck to it so it all comes off so you have to give yourself some room when you plug everything in and or it'll be a pain in the butt to add other interfaces later 
like a SD card reader. The front of this case also has filters in all of its little holes. And down here at the bottom where that main fan is. These little things slip in there and lock your drive in. I think I'm going to stick a screw in it and luckily you can pop both sides of this case off and it will allow me to put a screw in right here. I'm going to plug everything in. The power will go up here. System fan 2. Time to pop in the video card. But before I do, there's some punch outs. Well, they are fairly easy, but you gotta bend them out. They break off. I guess the second one. Try not to hit my capacitors down there. This case isn't completely toolless. You do need tools. Six pin power connector goes on the power supply. When it's time to do the power on the front panel and all the lights, you just use the book and match it up to wherever your connectors are. Mine's right here. These are the two lights, or two powers, power and reset. And these are the lights. This is the audio header. It goes right here. This case has two USB 2s. This is the USB 3 in the front. Power for the DVD drive, SATA 6. There's a legend here for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to put the hard drive on 0 and the DVD-ROM on number 1. Clicked. It's in. Hmm. CD-ROM is hooked up now. Solid state drive is connected. i got to get power to it. It's an awkward spot for a hard drive. Well, it appears that for now I'm done. Finally got it all together and plugged in. And I didn't turn the power on. Try it again. Woohoo! Crazy.